Joe was hungry. So we fed him. Mary couldn't afford her utility bill. So we paid it. Grant lost his furniture in a fire. So we replaced it. The extraordinary work of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul captures the spirit described by our Lord in the Gospel of Matthew. I was hungry and you gave me food. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was naked and you clothed me. I was ill and you comforted me. I was a prisoner and you visited me. Thursday morning in rural Perryville, Missouri, Ed volunteers for the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. He and other volunteers, known as Vincentians, operate the thrift store and pack clothes in 70 pound barrels. Destination? Afghanistan. The St. Vincent de Paul St. Louis Council office in the city. The calls pour in all day, every day. I'll direct you to the St. Vincent de Paul Society there in your area. People crying out for help. Virginia and Pam refer the calls to 2,500 Vincentian volunteers working throughout the St. Louis area and 11 surrounding counties. St. Vincent de Paul chapters called conferences form a huge network of charity. It's neighbors helping neighbors. The response becomes direct and personal, very personal. The volunteers visit those in need in their homes. In the poor and the suffering, we see the face of Jesus Christ. Each year, more than 40,000 home visits are made. Lord, we thank you for bringing us here today, Elizabeth and her family. Preparation to provide this personal service comes through spiritual development. Development fostered at twice monthly meetings of Vincentians, held in more than 140 area parishes. Spiritual advisors encourage the members to grow in love, love that is then taken to the pool. The tradition dates back to the society's origins in 1833. The founder, Blessed Frederick Ozanam, and a group of fellow college students sought out the poor in Paris, and with the help of Blessed Rosalie Rendu and her fellow sisters, offered them food, clothing, and friendship all in the spirit of the great French priest, St. Vincent de Paul. The first conference in the United States began 12 years later, in 1845, on the banks of the Mississippi at the old Cathedral Parish in St. Louis. Today, the society serves the poor in 135 countries around the world. Back in the St. Louis area, the society's trucks hit the road. Thousands of families in the community reach out to help by donating furniture, clothing, and household goods. These donations are delivered to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores. Our stores enable the poorest of the poor to receive goods at no cost. At the same time, our shoppers support the mission when they purchase goods at bargain prices. Each year, more than 78,000 individuals and families are served through our thrift stores. Outside of the windows of the thrift stores, the heart and soul of the society remains the parish conference. Each conference raises its own funds for the poor. The richer conferences then twin their funds with the poorer conferences, who then distribute to those in need. We twin with uh... Lesterville, they have a pantry down there and the same with the Paul Society that uh, never has enough funds so we send $200 a month down to uh, Lesterville. 
The barrels of clothes destined for Afghanistan is an example of international twinning. This is a way of twinning where they need something and we pay for the, the cost of it. And uh, uh, anything that I don't, I don't see how you could twin any better. The whole community feels like they're helping and it's some place that it's not like you're sending a check. You're sending something that you know and you can see the result. No act of charity is foreign to the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Neighbors in need are helped with utility and rent assistance, food, clothing, furniture, and through visits to hospitals and prisons. The St. Louis County Jail. Here and in 12 other jails and four Missouri prisons, Sister Rose Rita and an army of 200 volunteers bring the love of Christ to the incarcerated and to those coming out. And so what we've been doing in recent years is checking to see what are the needs when people come out because the odds are in three years, two out of three will be back in if they don't get any more help than they have been getting. A startling statistic, 66% of those released are back behind bars within three years. But for those who complete the St. Vincent de Paul Criminal Justice Ministry program, that number shrinks to 10%. Through Vincentians Who Care, more than a quarter of a million Greater St. Louis area individuals and families are served every year. Our Lord said, the poor will always be with you. In response, God willing, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul will always be there to serve.